are here we are back again. Not, not the nicest weather for training out there today, but how's it been? Wet has <laughs> always been, but but uh, whenever they run around about the wet, it's always I don't mind rain. It's it's windy and rainy that we don't like, but um, now we've had a good good morning. Just finishing off there with the lads in the top up group. Um, but yeah, we've got back together. We had a, had a good meeting this morning, a good chat about the game, um, its positives and its negatives, and also obviously tomorrow and, and another opposition coming to the EBB. Who, whilst, whilst they're visiting, they they come in top of the pile. So it's uh, no let up. But um, we're looking forward to the game. You know, they've had a really good start, Barnet, and we expect them, like York, um, to be in the mix t- towards the end of the season. But one-off games, you never know what can happen. Let's get the, uh, the bad bit of news out of the way first. Have you got an update on Ollie Harfield for us? I know it probably is still a bit too soon. Yeah. Real detail. Well, it's, it's a major injury, obviously. Um, we don't know exactly because the, the medical people have yet to go inside and have a look. Um, but he's had some um, surgery already, which means he'll be in hospital for at least, I think, till Friday. We're all feel for, for Ollie. He's been a top, top lad for us since I've been in the, in the club. Um, and we obviously wish him a speedy recovery. We'll give him as much support as we can as a staff and players. We'll all be going to see the lad. Um, yeah, it just brought a real a sickening feel to the pit of my stomach. I, it was a very similar, it looks like a very similar injury to that I did when I was, I was a bit older than Ollie. But um, hopefully the medical uh, world has, has moved on a little bit and, and we can see him on the road to recovery very, very quickly. And we all send our best wishes to him. Yeah, obviously everyone's thoughts behind the scenes go to Ollie as well. Yeah. But, you know, what, all we can do is put that to one side and focus on the football because that's going to come tomorrow regardless, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, you've touched on it already, but it's a very tough challenge again. If you're going to have a Saturday, Monday, playing against both the teams that come into the day, top of the table is not ideal, is it? But, you know... We had, a, we, had a simi- we had a similar week just after Christmas, sort of January, February last year, I remember when it was, it was Barnet. Altrincham and Oldham came in the same week, so look, we, it's all we keep saying this, but there, there are no easy games in this division, um, and there are tougher games than others. And you'd have to say that York and Barnet within three days of each other are going to be as tough as it gets. Um, but there's no let up after that because we're on the road to Yeovil at the weekend. But look, it's what we play the game for. Um, I think the solidity that we, we're showing, and we're showing that we can, you know, keep people out at our end. We just got to polish up at the other end really. I mean, we're making enough chances to win games and we haven't scored in, the la- in two of the last three, which is really unusual for us. So um, if we weren't making chances, I'd be concerned, but I'm not. Um, I've got faith in the lads who are playing in the positions that they were expected to score goals, but I've also got faith in lads who are in any position in a team that they can pop up or certainly contribute to help to score another goal. So, you know, we're in a good place inside this room on that training ground. Um, and I think the vast majority of the people can see that you know we, we're, we're forever changing because that's where we are in, in the you know the, the way of Aldershot Town Football Club. What, what I picked up and what we're morphing into is still an ongoing process and probably will be for for a little bit longer yet. So I'm really pleased with most of what I'm seeing. Um, and anybody who was at the game on Saturday, I would have thought was a fantastic advert for the um, for the league. Um, the only real disappointment, obviously, is the unfortunate uh, injury to, to Ollie Arfield but like I said our thoughts are with him and we'll be trying our best to get to get some points on the board for him and more than anything else now. As you say there it is still a, a, a very young group that's molding yeah. together isn't it but you've touched on it in the post-match on, on Saturday and you know when you look at the table now and, and you look at more of the statistics behind that mm. we are slightly improved from last year aren't we? Yeah I think we are I think we've got a little bit of a deeper squad Although in saying that, we've got one or two sitting in the in the treatment room. We've been in there a little while now. Ollie Bray, Manny Madger, Frosty's nearly out of it now. Um, Ollie Turner. These lads have hardly kicked the ball in anger really since pre-season, and that's been a frustration because they were lads I wanted and I hope were going to play a part. But then, obviously, somebody's misfortunes another man's gain, and obviously it was Roland on Saturday who got on the pitch. But we've got Maxi Mullins and George who now will come into my thinking. So. You know, at the, end, at the end of the day, it's it's all about the group as opposed to any one individual. Um, so, and that's all, that's always how I think. Um, the group will be forever changing because that's that's the way of the world. That's football. You know, lads will want to move on because they're not getting game time because I'm not picking them, or they'll move on because somebody at a higher level will see them and want them, and then we'll have to go to an arrangement about that. So, yeah, I'm very comfortable where I am in terms of me, the squad, the whole progression of the football club Um, and I'm just looking forward to the next game, that's all I ever do.